Okay, so circumference is the next uh, lesson, and circumference is basically the perimeter of a circle. So it's just the distance around a circle. So if you have a circle like this, and there's the center of the circle, the distance around the circle is the circumference. There's a few other terms that go away, go along with uh, circumference. One is the distance across. Half the distance across a circle is a radius. The full distance across is the diameter. Now there's a neat thing about circles. All circles, whether they're little circles, medium circles, big circles, very big circles, all circles have one key relationship between circumference and diameter. If you were to take the circumference of any circle and divide it by the diameter, you would always get a certain number. That certain number is 3.1415 blah blah blah. And it goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. This famous number is pi, spelled P-I. Symbol this. Now, for our class, all you need to worry about are these three digits, 3.14. <clears throat> Your calculator button may spit out a longer version of pi, um, but let's just be consistent and have everyone in the class use this number when we're calculating pi. So pi is, oh, again, what it is, it's whenever you take the circumference of a circle, any circle, that's the distance around, and divided by the diameter, you always get 3.14 for any circle, whether it's a small one, medium one, huge one, size of the earth, size of the earth, any size. Okay, so the formula for circumference looks like this. Get the circumference of a circle, you take pi and multiply it by the diameter. This is our formula for circumference of a circle. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. First one. Let's say we have a circle like this. This line across the middle and the dot across the middle <coughs> just indicates this is the distance to the center of the circle. And let's say that distance is 4 centimeters. And then we're asked to find the circumference. What is the circumference of the circle? Well, just like we did with Pythagoras questions, I'd like you to set it up with formula, work, answer. The formula is this, circumference equals pi times diameter, instead of a squared, b squared, c squared, like we did <coughs> with Pythagoras, and you just sub in the numbers. And for the work, circumference, we don't know what it is, so we just leave it as c. Pi is 3.14, it always is, and the diameter is 4. You punch that into your calculator, round to one decimal place, this times that, and you should get 12.6 centimeters. Done. So that's how I'd like you to show it. Again, being particular about having everything directly underneath the formula, <clears throat> that's how I'd like you to show work properly. All right, next example. What if you had something like this? the circumference of this form of this circle. Well first off again formula work answer what stands out to you about this formula about this question is that instead of getting the full distance across we're only giving you the half the distance across. You're gonna do some work. 
figure out that this number three only gives you the radius. We need the diameter, and the diameter obviously is double the radius, or two times the radius. So the diameter here is going to be six centimeters. So we use that into our formula. C equals pi times diameter. Circumference is circumference. Pi is 3.14. Diameter is 6, not 3. 6 centimeters. We times the two together into one decimal place. You should get 18.9 centimeters. Alright. Moving along. What if you had a trickier question? One where you have something like this. And we're told that distance across is six centimeters. A question like this in a book or a worksheet might say, what's the perimeter of this figure? Now the reason why they're saying perimeter is because, again, perimeter and circumference mean the same thing. It's just the distance around something. But for this, you have to travel along there, which is, I guess, the circumference, and then also along here. So what I suggest you do, and we'll get to these later, is when you have a weird shape like this, is to break up the shapes. First thing, break up the shapes. we have that's our two shapes is a half circle and a line. So our half circle looks like this with a distance across of six centimeters plus a line whose distance is six centimeters. So the six centimeter line obviously is just gonna be six centimeters, no big <coughs> calculation need there. But what are we gonna do to figure out the dis the distance around this half circle? Well same thing, formula work, answer, have it all set up like that, C equals circumference times diameter, the circumference here we don't know, pi is pi, the diameter is 6, times that all together and you would get 18.8. Now, tempting for us just to keep going along here and adding six centimeters to that to get the final answer, but we don't. This is half a circle. So what we need to do to this answer is divide it by two because it's a half circle. Or multiply it by a half if you want. When you do that, you're going to get 9.4. That's the distance of the half circle. Let's not forget the distance of the line across, which is six centimeters. You get a final answer of 15.4 centimeters. Half circle, divided by two for the circumference. Don't forget the line, six centimeters for that, 15.4. That's it.